in the wild flower meadow there are literally thousands of nests of bumblebees, small bees, all types of bees. And the reason why they're there is because there are a con continuity of flowers right from April up till the beginning of November. So in other words, instead of having a hive with bees that are just for two or three months in the orchard, the insects stay with us because there's flowers throughout the season. So they have food throughout the season with the pollen and the honey which they gather from those plants. There is a direct, wonderful relationship between the insects, the number of insects, the health of the insects, and the plant world, particularly the flowering plant world. And I believe no fruit grower should have an orchard or anybody who likes some fruit to grow themselves without a patch where the insects can really gather food, not just when the trees are in flower, but throughout the season. If you have only got, say, five fruit trees, what you should do is to put non-aggressive single flower varieties underneath the fruit trees. That will be perfectly all right, and the various seed merchants, the flowering seed merchants, do have mixes like that. And so you can do it on a small scale, and if you have your annual flowering of your plants, you can renew that every year and sprinkle some more seed down. That, and you will find a, such an increase of interest, not only because the activity of the insects, but what they bring with it and how they live. It is the most wonderful, mystique, satisfying thing to see for human beings how insects can live together with the plants. So this is a typical wildflower meadow. Um, it was created about 12 years ago and lots of grass, almost too much, but um, lots of flowers in amongst the grass as well. So these are dog daisies, the white daisies with yellow middles. And all these single plants, flowers, are loved by the bees. And then this is Hypericum, St John's wort. So this is a vetch, and there are about six different vetches on the meadow. It's a very pretty one, commonly known as eggs and bacon. This is field geranium, um, which I grew from seed and planted, so they're not very big yet. So this is knapweed with a cow parsley behind, and um, hogweed, and also you can just about see the red clover. This is field scabious. Um, planted by myself and grown from seed. This is yellow rattle, which is very important in the meadow because it's hemiparasitic. In other words, it takes water and minerals from the roots of grasses, therefore reducing their vigour. This is a pyramid orchid, which has just appeared this year. It's beautiful, isn't it? No.